Hello friends, welcome back. I'm sitting out here in my car waiting for my husband. He's at an appointment and I thought I would take this opportunity to tell you about a dream that I had. I actually had this dream about maybe three weeks ago, but I finally decided I'm just gonna go ahead and share it with you. So in this dream, uh, I was in this building. I, I would I would say it was probably like a mansion and something that you would actually envision the royal family maybe living in. All of the rooms were dark, like no lights on. And I was walking through these rooms, corridors, hallways with a group of people. These people were all like-minded. I don't remember anyone specific with me. Um, I would assume my husband and family or maybe my church family, um, but everyone was like-minded. So they were Christian. They were Christian people, um, but I wasn't looking at anyone in specific or recognizing anyone specific. I wasn't looking at them. I was looking where I was. And like I said, all of the rooms were dark and we were walking through these rooms. And I remember noticing how beautifully they were decorated. Very, um, like I said, you would picture maybe the royal family, very high ceilings, um, just beautiful, like a mansion. Um, but all of the lights were out, so it was dark. And sometimes when we would go into a room, like going through hallways, you would come into a room and there were other people in there and it was no more than two or three other people but they were different than us they were aggressive and very angry and sometimes they would like rush up on us they may be like getting in our face type situation they never touched us though um, but it felt like that. It felt like they were going to physically attack you. And they were yelling, um, slanderous things, name calling, um, just extremely aggressive and angry. Um, we just kept walking, we kept going. There was actually a voice behind us somewhere that was telling us which way to go. Um, I didn't look, I don't know if anyone else in the group looked, but, uh, this voice was very matter of fact and um, but very comfort comforting it was a comforting voice and the voice was saying you know go through this door now turn to the right go down this corridor and turn left at the the second door or you know it was it was giving us directions on where to go and actually um, it would even tell us to stop. Like maybe you're going through a door and it would tell you, this voice would tell you, okay, stop right here. Don't go through the door. You just wait right here. Be quiet. Don't move. And some people would rush by and then the voice would say, okay, go ahead, go down the hall, turn to the left, turn to the right. And you know, whatever, giving us directions on how to navigate through to a, a ballroom, I, I call it a ballroom. It was a huge room with masses of people in it. And the ceilings were extremely high, um, maybe how you would picture a ballroom and that's why I called it that. And I noticed, well, there were two things that was very evident when I walked into this room. First of all, on the other side of the room was like glass doors, like maybe like double doors or something with light flooding in. And we were very excited when we stepped into this ballroom. Everyone started, all of us, um, not the people that were in there, but us, we were cheering and, you know, praise God, hallelujah, all right, you know. Um, and we just kept walking towards the doors leading to outside. I assume it was outside and it was where the light was coming from. And the second thing that I noticed was there were giant statues 
all along the walls of this ballroom. Um, the statues were, I don't know, maybe 10 to 15 feet high. And they were um, kind of built into the walls. Like half of the half of the body of the statue was outside of the wall and the other half was built into the wall. And all of the bodies of the statues looked like Buddha, like a Buddha body, I guess. And the heads looked a little bit different. Like some of them had um, people heads, like um, this looked like a person, like a statue of a person, but like kind of like Buddha sort of. Um, not Buddha, but you know, kind of that similar look. Um, some of them had like bird heads, like kind of Egyptian looking. Some of them had dog heads. And there were masses of people in front of each one because they were spaced out on the walls. Um, the, the statues themselves were idols and that was the word that came to my mind. And there was there was different ones for sports, like different different sports. Some of them were for politics, different political views, I guess. And there was one for LGBTQ. And there was some other ones that were similar, um, but I don't know what they were called, but they were the similar um, category, I guess. Um, some of them were actually even religion. Um, some were like Hollywood celebrities. Um, but there, there was multiple different ones and, but they were idols and each one had masses of people standing in front of them. And like some of them were, some of the people were dancing, like they were at a nightclub. Um, some of the people were being promiscuous. Some of the people were excitable, like they were at a sports event and like chest bumping and, you know, kind of how guys would act at a sports event, um, cheering and, and such. Um, some of the people were debating each other and arguing. Um, and some people were, you know, acting religious. Um, and some of the people in the different groups noticed us and they were aggressive and angry, just like the people we came across in the rooms. None of them touched us though. We kept walking towards the door and one of the statues I noticed, um, I was saying something to it about the blood of Jesus. Um, I think I was maybe talking to the people around me about it. But I was saying, um, nothing can touch you if you're covered under the blood of Jesus. And this statue did not like me speaking of the blood of Jesus. And even though it was a statue and was standing still like a statue, when I mentioned the blood of Jesus, its eyes moved and looked directly at me. And all of the people that were in front of it, like worshiping it, that's how I would assume these groups of people in front of the statues that I assume that's what they were doing. They became aggressive at me. Their eyes turned towards me too when the statue's eyes did. And it was as if it was directing them about what to be angry about or who to focus on or something, but no one could touch me. Um, we, we just kept moving. We didn't stop for any of these reasons. There was no um, if somebody was angry and getting aggressive, maybe trying to get in our face, we didn't even stop. We kept walking and heading for these doors with this light streaming in. And we were almost to the, we were steps away from the door. And that's when I woke up and I laid there for a while, really thinking about this dream. And I felt like I'm not good at interpreting dreams, I admit it, but I felt like this dream was, you know, obviously it was the Lord leading us through. The Bible tells us that 
God's people hear his voice, God's sheep hear his voice, and that he will lead us. I, and I believe that there's even uh, Bible verses that say um, not to look to the left or to the right, but to just keep your eyes forward. And I, if you know what verse I'm talking about, I, I can't remember it exactly, but um, I felt like we were literally steps away from the Lord taking us through because the Bible says that Jesus is the door. So yeah, I, I remember feeling very excited and everyone that was with me in the group, we were all very excited and very verbal about it and like really smiling and patting each other and, you know, just very excitable because we were almost there. So I want to encourage you today that we are almost there. I don't know if this dream meant anything, but it did give me hope when I had this dream because I felt like, I feel like it was the Lord giving me that comfort, giving me that confirmation that yes, there's things that we might have to go through and there's aggressive people in the world right now and people are getting more and more angry and the darkness of the rooms um, the Lord led us through safely and we made it we were steps away from stepping through the door into the light so yeah I hope that this dream gives you hope as well so you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you next time bye-bye